Hi Barry, uh, this is another video. <coughs> Basically I want you to go back to the I announce uh, project but do it in a different way. And uh, I found out, I actually was able to find the individual sites uh, that the I announce uh, um, site points to and they're actually more accurate so instead of going through that I prefer to go to this route so basically I'm gonna send you uh, this address so I'm at uh, this site it's called uh, thisiscan.co.uk and basically this one uh, contains the announcement and the obituaries of uh, two newspapers so this is the Canton Sussex Courier and the East Kent Gazette Group and it is uh, a little bit more uh, uh, accurate so I prefer to go through this basically what I want you to do is go on this site <coughs> I've already opened a new uh, spreadsheet which I'm going to share with you and I'm interested in the record of 2013 and 2012 okay so we're going to take uh, these records and then we're going to go to other newspaper in the same area and add them all here okay so and, and, the, and the reason for this is that I found that the I announced goes back too much in uh, 2011, 2010, uh, 20, 2009, 2008 and these are two old records and they're not good so it's easier to get them in an organized way this way so what I'm gonna do here, so I'm on this side and uh, <coughs> now I'm gonna just click here, open in a new tab okay and uh, this screen is similar to the I announce so what we're gonna do, we're gonna set it to obituaries okay and then this is important so select a date range and uh, click on date okay and then type in January 13th okay and uh, we're gonna do a couple of steps here so <coughs> oh there you go you see it says see all, see all for 2013 and uh, so you're gonna click here okay and now you have 461 records for uh, 2013 so this you should be able to do it in less than a day and uh, and then to to do that then uh, I don't know maybe open them in a new so th this is January and then you need to click individually to each uh, day okay and then what I, I wanna change a little bit the, th the way I do things so I wanna take uh, the name so I'm gonna take the name and uh, copy it and then I go back here and I want to type uh, passed away so this is the date of the day 23 of December most probably it's 2012 okay because this was published on the 3rd of January so I want to type in 23 12 and actually I want it in this form 2012 okay so it's uh, let me just type it is uh, day day slash uh, month month slash year 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 okay so this is the 23 because if I type it in then I can actually sort them by date okay actually I, I'm gonna add in a new column insert uh, all right so insert details uh, all right oh, we're gonna do it here say month and uh, <coughs> I, I, I actually this is not uh, I can do it uh, oh, this is not important actually forget about this so let's just do it this way okay so and then this the newspaper and this is gonna be I think it was the this is Kent right so the Kent and Success Courier so, so these are all gonna be the Kent and Success Courier okay so all these uh, 400 okay so now this is done so we're gonna go back so Peter Malko so there was only one here okay so now I go on the fourth uh, and there are these four so it's uh, John Ashby so Henry so again copy and I think it's this one and 26 December 12 so I'm just gonna type it in okay 26 December 12. okay and then we're gonna do the next so basically it's a little bit more uh, so there are two pages here 
Ah yeah, because there are 13, uh, 13, right? So you need to be a little more careful. So once you've done the that day, where is it? So this was page one. You're gonna go on the yeah, there you go on the tent and. Uh, Ah, there you go. Obituary notes for 10th of January. All right, so this is kind of uh, nice because it tells you on the ending of the each page. You know, these are all the obituary of that day. So I, I would recommend opening them all in a new tab and make sure that um, you know you, you need to be a little bit organized. And uh, <coughs> but this is a nice way because we can do all of 2013. So once you've done all January, you're gonna go back and do February, and then uh, again all, all the other ones, right? And uh, the important thing is really is that we type in uh, <coughs> the newspaper. You do it only once, and you type in the date of the death. Okay, because uh, then if I uh, type it in, and it's not a text. I can actually sort them by date and do the most recent first. Okay, and once you've done uh, once you've done 2013, okay, you're gonna go back. So you you can do it from here as well. And you want to do 20, so you want sex, so this is 2012, okay? And we're going to do 2012, okay, for the same uh, newspaper, okay? So just in case I, uh, you know, you, let's say that uh, you get lost, you can go back here, select obituaries, date, uh, put in a date, and uh, search, and then you say, I want to do December 2012, and it says, see all for 2012, okay? And then there are 2,152 for 2012. Okay. And then <coughs> before you do 2012, actually, I uh, so maybe do 2013 first, and then you go back here and it says East Kent Gazette, and then you're gonna do the same for uh, this other newspaper. Okay, East Kent Gazette. Click here, and it's exactly the same format. It's just a different newspaper. Okay. So you just have to maybe do one newspaper first and then the other one, just uh, to avoid uh, getting confused. Okay, and same thing for, um, I'm going to go here, date, put in uh, Jan 13, and we only want the obituaries. And then you're going to do seal for, uh, okay, let's See all. See, you need to figure out a way to do. I want to see all of uh, 2013. Okay, I'm sure there is a way. See all for January. Let's do this way. January 13. Ah, there you go. See all for 2013. Or maybe let's say if I put in 2013. For 2030, all oh right. So it's kind of easier. 1,551. Okay. If I type in January 13, yeah, 1,551. So probably the easiest way is just to type in the year. Okay. So just type in the year, and uh, you will see all the records, and then you go into January. So this is a bigger newspaper, right? And then it's just the same, you know. You you got it by day, and uh, so it's probably easier to do one newspaper at a time. Okay, so do first all of the 2013 uh, and 2012 um, for uh, for the East Kent Gazette or, or for the Kent and Sussex, and then do all the 2013 and 2012 for the East Kent Gazette. Okay, so one newspaper at a time, and make sure that you type in the date here, okay, and the newspaper, okay. So I think this is uh, pretty simple. So you should have enough for a couple of days, and then <coughs> in a couple of days I'm going to show you how to do a few other ones. Okay? So if you have any question, uh, type uh, type them in, and I'm just going to share this with um, with you.
okay and that's it so for the next couple of days just work on this two newspaper for 2013 and 2012 and uh, and just uh, fill them in and then maybe create uh, another tab okay so do one newspaper at a time but uh, put the 2013 here at 2012 and the other one and then uh <coughs> and that's it pretty much okay so i think it's pretty simple just uh, remember to type in the the date because i want to sort them by by months okay i hope it's clear any question asked